most people that nowadays that talk about oh my standard is this and this and this these are the single ones and those are the ones that remain single because they have so-called standard no they have unrealistic expectation they don't have reality standard they have a uh, disney standard always looking for a prince charming that's disney that's not real life because they want a man who is six foot tall at least um six packs six figure yeah basically that's their standard or so-called standard is all materialistic today's topic the last part part number four of what a young man should look for in a wife <laughs> it's an interesting journey in that young man's life wolf that we are talking about let's see what we can learn in that last part of that chapter without further ado That should you marry her, you would be mated but not matched. Then tell him, do not marry her. Oh. There would be something wanting in the one you make your wife. Oh, yep, she's not a wife material. And as far as Christian devotion and piety is concerned, that can never grow where so great selfishness possesses the soul. L Y L 22.2 Men, as I mentioned, you have to vet the woman. See what she likes, what she doesn't like. If when you guys are talking and she is not... In this case, he is, um, yeah, he's trying to marry the wrong woman because she is not fit for marriage because she wants to find herself in a sense. She's that feminist type in the 1886 year, year, the year 1886. She's that type. I don't know. I, I'm not going to say much on that part. Let's just move on. I will write to you, Rolf, just as I would write to my son. There is a great and noble work lying just before us, and the part we shall act in this world depends wholly upon our aims and purposes in life. We may be following impulse. You have the qualities in you to make a useful man, but if you follow inclination, this strong current of self-will will sweep you away. Place for yourself a high standard and earnestly strive to reach it. LR 22.3 Yes, men, we need to be the one with the standard, not the woman. Women that say, oh, I have a standard, they're most likely not going to have a man. Now, when I say most likely, I mean the standard that if a woman has a standard to find a woman, most of to find a man, most likely she wants to find a man that will love her and that she wants to have a life with. Most women that nowadays that talk about, oh, my standard is this and this and this, these are the single ones. And those are the ones that remain single because they have so-called standard. No, they have unrealistic expectation. They don't have reality standard. They have a uh, Disney standard. 
always looking for a prince charming. And that's Disney. That's not real life. Because they want a man who is six foot tall at least. Um, six packs. Six figure. Yeah, basically. That's their standard or so called standard. It's all materialistic. And a lot of young girls are believing in that. And I try to tell them, don't try to go that route because they're not going to be happy. But hey, they are still young. They get all the attention all the time. They think it's going to be like that forever. Sadly enough, when they learn, it's going to be too late. Most of the time. But let's move on. Let it become the ruling purpose of your heart to grow your complete man in Christ Jesus. In Christ, you can do valiantly. Without Christ, you can do nothing as you should. You have a determination to carry out that which you purpose. This is not an objectionable feature in your character if all your powers are, sur are surrendered to God. Please bear this in mind that you are not at liberty to dispose of yourself as your fancy may dictate. Christ has purchased you with a price that is infinite. You are, you are his property and in all your plans you must take, you must take this into account. LR 22.4 That is true. Um, we have to find out that our purpose should be according to God's principles. And uh, we shouldn't try to do most or everything without his help. That's important. Uh, if we do, we may find out we fall into a cliff and wreck comes after. Most likely, that's what she's trying to, to tell him. Because he wants that girl, and that girl is not fit for to be wife. And if he, if he incline, if he goes with his with his inclination, then he will be disappointed in the future. That's basically what she's telling him right now concerning Edith, the girl. Let's move on. Especially in your marriage relations. Be careful to get one who will stand shoulder to shoulder with you in spiritual growth. LR 22.5 Okay, I don't get that. Especially in your marriage relation, be careful to get one who will stand shoulder to shoulder with you in your in in spiritual growth. Is that a, is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? I don't know. Let's see what she mentioned. Let's see if she says anything concerning that. Wolf, I want you to consider all these things. God will help you to pray over this matter. Angels are watching this struggle. I leave you with this matter to consider and decide for yourself. LR 22.6 Signed Ellen Gould White, letter 23, 1886. Okay, that part is very interesting. Should I get a woman to stand shoulder to shoulder with me or to be below me? I don't get it. Hmm. Be careful. Oh, okay. Yes, she should be shoulder to shoulder with me. Because if he weren't, so it would have been, should have said, be careful not to get one who will stand shoulder to shoulder with you. But if she says to be be careful to get one, um, then that's a good thing. Be careful not to get. Be careful not to go there. That means don't go there. But be careful to get one. So you should get one 
Meaning that she is very spiritual as you are, in a sense. That makes sense. Yes, so you want, you want to find a woman like that. That, that, that. That's good. Now, in summary, in the whole chapter. Um, in the whole chapter. Wolf, you're giving trouble, man. I, I, men... And gentlemen, um, the idea of being red pill is very important. Now, I'm not talking about what men in the channel are talking about, meaning to have casual sex and casual dating things. Not that. To know who you are is important. Being red, I am a red pill guy, and I can tell you. You can combine your red pill knowledge with biblical understanding to do the right thing. This channel is not about men to go and have sex left and right. It's about understanding what you should and should not accept from a woman. And if you are contemplating marriage, there are certain things you need to look for in a woman. That right here is for the men. What a man should look for in a wife. We learned that she has to be prudent, she has to not be idle, she has to be an economist, she has to like the duties of life. Those are important. What men look for in a woman is not what a woman look for in a man. So, to all the men out there, understand this. You need to find a woman who likes doing things of the life, practical life. If she tries to lead you on and she is not sure that she likes you, dump her. Find yourself a better person because she doesn't like you. If she tells you that, oh, you're a nice person, then she's not the one for you either. So, don't forget that. Now, I'm going to stop right here because it's basically the end of the story. My name is Maureen Michelle. I hope to see you again. Until then, 